comes. We are here with you on planet Earth, and we are about to bring you more amazing entertainment all in the name of science right here on TOMZ. Teenagers on a mission. Can I get a hell yeah? Hell yeah, and what's on the menu? I'm planning to Well, and I'm planning we are keeping our feet firmly on the ground and finding out more about the planet. Mm -hmm. It's all about planet Earth. So what do we know about our planet? We know that it's the third planet from the sun in a system that includes the moon, the sun, eight other planets and their moons, and of course, smaller objects such as asteroids and comets. Now the sun is just an average star, but it's the central and largest body in our solar system. Quite our planet is made up of solid rocks, soils, amongst and the gases of the atmosphere all under our little sun. Now the sun is the planet Earth, what's the top? Get it? Coming up next on TOMZ, Sifuan is how each geoscientist if under the earth to find fuel. Sifunda care about the layers that make up Elizabeth. We find out more from green beings about the leg of helping our planet by recycling. Ku clockwise scale we'll find out about the origins of the Earth's name and cartography. Why go cyberspace? So if man has some awesome Earth-related apps, as it is a vumele, but we're not going to explore our planet. The planet here today is a grassy pillar, younger in me, but how much do we actually know about how the planet works? Well, the Earth is one of nine planets in our solar system, and it is very unique. Kumbagalog, it has the most dense planet out of all nine. We only see the planet on the surface, and there's a whole lot of activity going on above us and below us. That's how we were born, because the Earth is made up of many different inner and outer layers. How much do you guys know about about the planet. We took to the streets and hooked up with some Zanzi peeps to find out. Check this out. Okay, if we get out, what is an ozone layer? Ozone layer uh, is the layer that protects the earth, the earth against ultraviolet rays. An ozone layer, I take it as a like an umbrella, okay. right? Like it protects us from like things like heat and stuff. Mm -hmm. And like the sun, okay. right? It, burns us obviously so like we have to have umbrellas to protect us. Oh yeah. It's a layer that supports the um, the atmosphere mm -hmm. from from the sun rays I could say. How many planets do we have in our solar system? Nine planets. Certain. Yes. Nine? Uh, Mercury. Okay. Pluto. Okay. Uh, Venus. Okay. Jupiter. Okay. It's Venus. Okay. It's Earth. Okay. And Neptune. Okay. Mars. Okay. Okay, nine planets. How far is the sun from, from Earth? Hold up. Just it. Whoa. It's... Whoa, it's far. Mm, very far that I know. That's because you know that you may have not known about our planet. Okay, I'm coming to the go and ask the app. But hey, the Earth's rotation is gradually slowing. This is happening in approximately 17 milliseconds every 100 years. Local mm, Wushu in the very long term, this will make our days longer and our nights shorter. But it's happening so slowly that it could be as much as 140 million years before the length of a day will increase to 25 hours. And guys, the Andorian Asia, the Earth was once believed to be the center of the universe, Lena. Ancient scientists insisted that the Earth remained stayed still while other planets and the sun and the moon traveled in circular orbits around. Mm, since then, science has proved them wrong and we know that the Earth is always moving around the sun. We also know that a lot more about what's going on inside the planet. Yasuk team, check this out. Elizabeth get Elizabeth's tattoo from the sun and is approximately 149 million 600,000 kilometers from Ilang. Elizabeth is made up of outer and inner layers. The outer layers get Elizabeth are the atmosphere, the hydrosphere, and the lithosphere. Sipila get in the biosphere, which is where all these layers interact, or is support a boom. The lithosphere is the solid out layer of the Earth, which includes Earth's crust and the cool, dense, and rigid upper part of the upper mantle. The mantle is one of the three main layers of Elizwe. It is between the innermost layer, the core, and the thin outermost layer, the crust. In geophysics science, seismology is the science study of the earthquakes and the propagation of elastic waves to the Earth or through other planet-like bodies. Mm, and because of this, the words seismic and geophysics are often associated with Ama earthquakes. But seismic data is also used by the fuel industry to find oil and gas reservoirs that help fuel our cars and various other things. Skulmege with a geoscientist with a toilet band. So with a seismology is a toilet if you check it out. 
Now, as we first go to see Zaga Jian, it's a Korean machine yet, and we just touched down a university of vets. We don't know about geophysics. You want to know what geophysics is? No, it's not Zaga Jian. Well, you, me, let's get it. I come along with Musa, Ogamanzi, Kamara, Kwazul Natal. Yeah. So, in general, what do you do? Um, uh, I'm a geophysicist. Mm -hmm. um, I lecture geophysics at VET. So we're trying to study the Earth using a technique called um, uh, geophysics. Under geophysics, we have uh, gravity, you've mm -hmm. got uh, reflection seismology, mm -hmm. and then you've got magnetic method, mm -hmm. and then you've got electrical method. Okay. So what we do is we're trying to find uh, minerals, oil and gas reservoirs under the earth. Okay. So it depends on what you're looking for, then you use that type of a technique. Okay. So for seismic data, yes. it's obtained using reflection seismology. So, so the way it works is if you've got a patient, mm -hmm. you go to the radiologist, okay. they use what we call the CAT scans, mm -hmm. they scan your body, they send your beams to your body, mm -hmm. and then you've got arrays of detectors and they give you a picture of your tissues and organs and you can find out what's wrong with your body. Okay. So with the reflection seismology, you use the earth, so you okay. treat the earth as your patient. Okay. So you want to know where the minerals are, okay. you want to know where oil and gas reservoirs are. Okay. So the seismic waves mm -hmm. that you that you send into the ground, yes. they give you the information about the interior of the earth okay. without having to drill to the earth. And then you get the information from the seismic waves mm -hmm. to actually tell you where the reservoirs are, where the gold, platinum and gas reservoirs mm. are. Yeah. How does the process work? What kind of equipment do you use? So the way it works is you acquire the data, mm -hmm. you process the data, so the acquiring happens in the field. So okay. you go to the field mm -hmm. with equipment. So because what you need to do, you need to generate these waves into the ground. Okay. So we've got a big truck, and on the truck you've got a, what we call a base plate, okay. and the base plate will vibrate. You will shake the base plate against the surface, and okay. then you're generating waves. So these waves they move into the earth. They okay. go as far as four, five, six kilometers down, mm -hmm. and they bounce off the geological features and that's where your oil and gas reservoirs and they come back to the surface mm -hmm. so what you do is you analyze the seismic data this one now we call processing okay so you're looking at, at the time for this wave to take to go down yes and come back and okay. they give you the information about the fluid and the gas in the rocks at that depth. And then what you do, mm -hmm. you come back to the office and then you look at your big screens. So basically now you're looking into the earth mm -hmm. while you're sitting in your office. Mm -hmm. Then you can identify where the, air, where the gas and oil uh, reservoirs are. Okay. And then after that, you know exactly where to go and drill. You know, put your wells or your boreholes to get the oil and gas out of the ground. There's so much hidden in the layers of the earth. It's kind of like it's oily, really, guys. It's got a lot of layers that make it up and it has a hot core. Mm, the middle of an onion can also burn, but it's nowhere near as hot as the center of our planet. <laughs> now, the temperature at the center of our planet is estimated to be about 6,000 degrees Celsius. Now, that's about as hot as the surface of Ilan. Yo, think about those layers or have an onion while we head into a quick break. See, boy up on a match. Masibuyake will be checking out a really cool way and not using night or tina to save our planet. Charms. Charms. So let's come get it to another exciting TOMZ show. And it's not a teenager on a mission. Let us go put well kumbi. Get us a SABC one. Who's asking for shop loan? What's it? Who's going to pick out what makes the world go round? If you said money, then you are wrong. Bro. Well, actually, the Earth spins because of the way it was formed. In scientists did that our solar system was formed about 4.6 billion years ago when a huge cloud of gas and dust started to collapse under its own gravity. As the cloud collapsed, it started to spin. Some of the materials within this cloud gas and eventually formed planets. And as the planets formed, they kept the spinning motion. Now again, Nani, this is similar to what you see when ice skaters pull in their arms and spin faster. As material gathered in more closely to form a planet like the Earth, the material spun faster. Now the Earth keeps on spinning because there is nothing in its way in Nani.
So girl, plan it to us to provide us with ukuja, fuel and energy and make sure that we have a place to plan. But we also have an effect on the planet by being here and using the resources. Mm-hmm. We are damaging the planet by using up energy resources and not managing our waste products properly. When we recycle, used materials are converted into new products. We reduce the need to consume natural resources. In Jalokanya, and if used materials are not recycled, new products are made by extracting fresh raw materials from the earth through mining and forestry and this means less trees less natural resources and less oxygen. Recycling Gayona is a scissor to conserve important raw materials and protect natural habitats for the future. So local from the green beans about some cool recycling initiatives. Check it out. So we are trying to find out how we can make our environments better and healthier. You, me, come with me. Let's get it. What's your name? Uh, proud. What do you do, Proud? Uh, currently, I'm a, I'm a university student. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what I do. And uh, I'm also a member of an NGO organization that is called Green Beings. Okay, so in general, what does Green Beings do? Uh, we do projects like recycling, okay. whereby we, we, we educate the learners, mm -hmm. we educate the teachers, we have a workshop with the teachers, the ground staff, then we take it back to the community. Mm -hmm. The community also get uh, involved with recycling as well. Okay. Okay. whereby they help the schools okay. you know, in terms of uh, recycling. We educate the learners, the learners educate the parents. Okay. We do, we have, uh, at each and every school in Cosmo City, we have got uh, depots, mm -hmm. recycling depots. Mm -hmm. So every Friday they are collected and taken to, 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 the, to the big center. Okay. So that's what we do. So in general, you have projects in Sibens and Aile, like scale? Uh, at this school, we, 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 are, we are doing recycling, but there's some that is exciting that we are doing at this school, yes. which is upcycling. Upcycling is when you, 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 you reuse something okay. in such a way that you don't have to, it's, 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 it doesn't have to cost you. Okay. With upcycling, you don't have to use transport. Mm -hmm. you, can do it, uh, uh, you can just you know, take those uh, boxes mm -hmm. or those uh, plastics that you, are, that you are getting at your school mm -hmm. and do upcycling there. Okay, so tell me about your upcycling project again, please, guy, man. Uh, at this school, we got uh, the vertical uh, flower garden. Or, or when we're making those bottles, yeah. you have to, to, to have uh, a bottle and then you have to cut it very nice. Mm -hmm. You know, you can you can design it your own, mm. the way you want to cut it. Mm. You know, it's up to you. And then you okay. put a wire. Okay. And then when you put a wire, you put there's a small that you have to put under mm -hmm. that you can hold the bottle. Okay. And then once once that once that we put that, and then you can hang it wherever you want it. I, I can encourage uh, maybe individuals to do that and maybe make money. Mm -hmm. And like sell those when you do your 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 your, your vertical your, 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 your vertical garden. vertical garden. Mm. You can you can you can sell that to, to schools or you can sell that to organizations to companies. Companies they can do that as well. You can start a business by that. You can start a business. It's another way of actually starting a business. Because huh. even I'm sure even companies, you know, big companies, they really love to have. Uh, flowers at, 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 their, at their companies, of you know. Course. You know, it is very, very important to recycle because uh, you save energy, mm. that's number one. Mm. Uh, as you know, that you got uh, the issue of climate change and, and global warming now these days, mm. you know. So by recycling, you know, we don't have enough space that is left, actually in Johannesburg and in South Africa as a whole. Mm. So there are two main landfills that are full now. So we don't have enough space. So by recycling, we are reducing, uh, you know, global warming. For, for instance, paper. Yes. The white paper that we, that we use at school, mm. you know, that if you can recycle that, it's actually you can make a books again. Now recycling here on the Angel Link. Basically, if you find a new use for something old, you are recycling. And one example of recycling is making old cereal boxes into book or magazine holders. In manufacturing though, used materials can be collected and converted back into raw materials and remade into new products. Aluminum cans, office paper, steel from old buildings and plastic containers are all examples of materials that are recycled. Now we're going to like to save our planet one piece of paper or one can at a time if you just visit your nearest recycling center or drop off and we remade it to something new. Normally when you have a creative gakul and use products you would normally throw away to make useful things. Now many environmentally conscious people even use recycled materials. Jungle Victor Moore from Washington in the United States who built the junk castle. Completely out of scraps and salvaged materials I told her in a nearby junkyard. In Jalokai you can have the artists in high school teachers started building the place in 1970 and building his whole home only cost him $500. Wow, that is so amazing, hey? So, reuse and recycle. Tina, guess I have a quick commercial break. I guess you have a boy and we saw it back in time for clockwise to find out about who can now be on planet Earth. Why is that in my country? Why can we get some awesome career advice? See ya, boy. Tom's. Tom's. 
Sweden Zam Gala Wamahu Tio MZ Abo Sabizuwa Zanzi for Shosi Patula Yonga Lok Naban Colon Tango Bobetri Sabiz Education Sabula Bitna. Nam Shanjaka says feeding a planet here too. Now, what is happening around Jan and why it turns? What it's made up of and how we can help make it a better place by recycling. In Shalok, and you're going to if you've missed anything, don't worry, it's all right, it's okay because as you do it, you can still check out our website for more info. Why are you going to look at the Facebook and Twitter? Because we'll be catching up with you guys in our social segment later. Bin to bin. Yes, look at what you come a crow, what you must have. Tina comes closer and you must have. Now, get my knees on my gamma for planet Earth in many different languages. And through the centuries, we keep learning more and more about our planet through scientific research and new technology. Cartographers have now been able to create maps of the entire surface of the Earth. I just told him that Bandina look all quick clockwise. Earth is the only planet in our solar system with a name in English that is not derived from Greek or Roman mythology. Eli Gamma Gali to Earth, Lusuka from the Anglo Saxon word Erda, and its Germanic equivalent Erda, which means ground or soil. There are hundreds of other names for the planet in other languages. In Roman mythology, the goddess of the Earth was Telus, which means the fertile soil, and in Greek mythology, it was Gaia, Terra Meta, or Mother Earth. They ask about the planet's name in many languages, but when did we actually get to know the planet? It was only in the 20th century that we had maps of the entire planet. During the 20th century, map production increased because of the improvements in printing and photography that made production cheaper and easier. Kwaeke Ingolo Moya made it possible to photograph large areas at a time. Since the mid-1990s, the use of e-computers in map making is led to store, sort and arrange data for mapping in order to create map projections. Pictures of the planet taken from space are also very important. Umsegero, they are a big help in weather prediction and especially in tracking and predicting hurricanes. So it's come a long way since the scientists thought that the Earth was a flat disk and Yonge Indo revolved around it. Can you believe Gutama sailors used to be afraid that they would sail off the edge of the Earth if they traveled too far out to sea? Yes, Nyani, but now of course we know that this is impossible because if you traveled all around the world in a straight line, we'd eventually just end up exactly where we began. Mm, science and the technology have helped us explain so much and man, Jege says, yes, if we just know what's all truly at our fingertips, all because of the World Wide Web. And as you know, if you want to explore the world, you can do it from the comfort of your own couch with a mobile device or a computer. A Google Earth allows you to fly through 3D cities like London, Tokyo, Rome, and much more. You can view the world at street level with integrated street view and use the tour guide to discover exciting new places to explore. Zotola logo gabanzi online or on your mobile in your app store. If one fun was gabanza about our planet, in NASA's free Earth Now app is checking out all the planet's vital signs in the graphics using global climate data from NASA's fleet of Earth science satellites. Let plan a begum shabo wonke on your hand, allowing you to rotate around the planet using your finger. And if one are ufunu gata to save the planet by recycling, check out the Tuffy Recycling Center locator for Android. Let plan a zokjela exactly where you can take old rubbish and recycle it for the good of our planet. Let's go! Now, if you want to more to travel in Israel, you can do it from your phone or computer. That's how far the world of technology has actually come. And it's our responsibility to keep it going. So why not consider a career in managing recycling projects to help conserve our planet? You can do it from your phone or computer. That's how far the world of technology has come. The news is as amazing as in the guy up on the planet. It's our responsibility to keep it going. So, when I put Kaya Kutenunga consideration a career in managing recycling projects, it was the to conserve our planet. The waste management engineers guess the organizer and they manage waste disposal, collection, and recycling facilities. They can also be responsible for waste treatment and street cleaning operations. If you want to find a job as a waste management engineer, you'll need a national senior certificate with university entrance. Each university here has its own entry requirements, but maths is a compulsory subject that geography and economics are highly recommended. Oh my God, now you pass the entry requirements, you can either do a BSc degree or an environmental science diploma.
Why you keep hitting those books? Because there's a career out there that is just right for when. Remember, if you put your mind to it, you'll find the right job. Job of Agashbet Namsan Jofilin Benzil. If you're passionate about our planet, there are a lot of careers that allow you to explore it and even contribute to making it a better place. I shall go and ask some of the best ones. So, I'm going to share with you. Now, when is the reason I'm planning to find some career advice from board? So to get accepted into geophysics program, you've got to have maths and physics uh, from high school. And then when you come to the university, you have to do physics one and physics uh, and, and, ge and maths one. You can also take geology up to third year. So you've got to have your degree in maths and physics, and you can also have it uh, measuring with geology. So at honors level, then you apply for geophysics. Then you get accepted at geophysics level, and then what you do after that you can either do um, you can either go work after you finish your honors uh, you can work for some of the oil and gas giants such as uh, Shell, Total, Chevron and also you can work for platinum and gold mines there's a lot of job opportunities because it's a very it's a scarce field and there's 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 uh, there's a lot of shortages in geophysics currently okay so uh, to be to, if you want to be involved with the recycling uh, you have to, to, to start, uh, for first, first thing that you must do is to like the environment. You have to love the environment that you are living in. You must respect the environment. And then recycling also benefits us as a whole uh, in such a way that uh, we, save, we are saving this, this planet, we are saving the environment. So in recycling, your and like your night, it actually creates you an opportunity as well in terms of job opportunities. So you can be, uh, now you know when you go around here you see people that are going with trollers. We call them trollerpreneurs. So you can actually be, become a trollerpreneur or have your own uh, business, a recycling business as well. Or open your own NGO and you can send the limit of food with that. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Speaking of professors for your social sessions, where to last school, and now I'll pick up. So you go to Ubo, local team, and get your MZ. I'll go to Connect Facebook, I'll go to Connect Twitter, and I'll pass it to you. And Twitter again, we have at Isaac underscore Suleiman. What's going to get at TOMZ underscore SABC underscore one? Hi, hello, hello. You can't wait for today's episode. Oh my gosh, what you get? See you at I am Sia underscore G. That is Sia at Spani underscore B and that's me. As well as at Fresh by Kelly, who at official underscore SABC1. So the man, we see your tweets daily and you know that you're one of our biggest supporters. We thank you for the love and yes, good. We love you. Now we'll like now before we find Solomon Lola. Now we'll drop on to our Facebook.com forward slash TOMZ at TOMZ underscore SABC underscore one. Till then, keep tweeting. Can you talk about it now? figure out who Pelé and Kubeja and I'm It's been awesome hanging out with you guys and learning all about our amazing planets. Mm -hmm. So we are getting our designer with the best science and technology info right here on planet Earth. Just be sure to tune in every Monday and Tuesday on our Lagu Tio MZ. Isha look at it. Tina Kesan Bona here for the next episode. Got Tio MZ against India. It's an annoying show. Keep that card show. Until then, bye for now. Coming up next on TLMZ. From the things that crawl on Earth to those who swim in the ocean, we learn all about your biodiversity. We check out the weirdest and wildest creatures who look like they're from another planet. We go offshore and we find out what it takes to protect sharks and other deep sea animals. When I get Uzunga Pozo, I don't tear MZ, hot dog, and me from the Nagolis Bini, and send me a sinner, my double, I forget, say, be see what Zancy, for sure, 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 sure.